Okay, so for the next step, I want to load the new flash onto the ECU of the car, the one I made for the MAF without the mesh, the wire mesh, flynet. So I know I showed this before how to flash MS41. I'm just gonna do it again, part of this video. So that's uh, ignition on, my OBD2 cable to USB connected to my notebook open quick flash need some ad adaptations if there's anything may have to clear them okay no knock recorded yeah long-term fuel trims are okay under one percent plus minus so we don't really have to clear anything let's just flash the new old tune which will identify go to right partial this version 623 open and it's flashing flash complete I can say turn off ignition wait for the click there we go that's it and now I'm just gonna drive it see how it feels log data see if I can notice a difference again with the uh, mesh removed, analyze the logs and go from there. Logging, I'm gonna use the Logger S. I could use my phone with ALDL Droid also, but lately I've been using this device just because it doesn't drain my battery and it fits nicely in here. I can start, stop the logs, take the uh, card out, card, and then in the end, copy it to the computer, open it on the notebook, the logs, so this has been proven quite useful. Let's connect it. Here. Connect it. Okay, now it's wanting me to recalibrate. Okay, let's do that. Ah, now it's upside down. Ah, oh, fuck. So the logger is connected. Start.
off the start, a lot stronger, even hard throttle. Maybe it's just my imagination, but I didn't even push it all the way and it just pulled harder. I mean, the throttle response just feels snappier. Oh, that's fun. Stretch of road with no traffic. Kind of do a, I don't know, third gear pull maybe. Let's see what the max mass value is. Well, it's not the worst time around 4 p.m. to do a drive. That punch without is, is now there again. Before it just was gone. I mean, the engine is warmed up. We're having like. 24 degrees ambient, so not much difference, not colder than before, so that would dilute the uh, experience because that's colder high it's about the same the last couple of days. without the fly net, the mesh, I did another run, pull and third gear on the same exact road or the same stretch of road, trying to keep the conditions the same as well as ambient conditions to see if there's any improvement. Of course, I logged the data and pulled up both logs now, or at least the pull in third gear that I did in Megalog Viewer HD. So we can have a look at the uh, difference in load values and math values, air mass. If you can see a difference from before and after the hack. If we look at these two logs, I made up an overview in Megalog Viewer HD with a couple of views. The interesting ones we want to look at is engine load and mass airflow, where we should see a difference. Because I was also noticing when I was driving, when I did the change, that it feels like the car has a little bit more oomph when you give it gas and when you do wide open throttle. That's, you know, the famous butt dyno. However, looking at the logs, what I can see is, you can see the ambience were about the same. It's even worse on the uh, run with the uh, mesh removed. We had a I had of about 35 degrees, so it was pretty warm, not ideal conditions to do any pulls, and previously the day before it was 32 degrees, so even a slightly higher intake air temperature. And you can see here, when you look at the load, let's uh, put, put it together around 6,000 RPM to compare. It's about even now. Okay, this is how you can set offset the two logs on top of each other, plus and minus, so we want to match it to the RPM. Here we go. So 6,000, around 6,000. And what we can see is that the load has increased. We now have 536 compared to 526. And mass airflow has increased also, 588 to 578. But especially from 6,000 on, I mean, you can see a difference here all across 
the uh, the pole basically we have more air mass okay in some areas it's very little like here not so much but still the gap is there and this in theory means more power there's a power calculation you can do from mass airflow to theoretical horsepower if we look at let's say let's look at this one here the highest value which is measured 608 even compared to 572 before and we have a difference of about 10 horsepower here and the theoretical calculation 211 compared to 198 and also torque you can do a theoretical calculation from the uh, load values would be 247 to 235 now this engine is a b25 its stock form has 245 newton meters of torque so this value the new the higher one is not out of its reach let's say or unrealistic but what's interesting is that from 6000 it seems to just kind of take off the difference we're talking comparing 608 to 5 that's like a 5 percent increase in power or air that's going through the engine essentially and i think i can feel this and when driving even the iads were worse so when you look further it just keeps its difference okay here it's a little bit less i guess it's due to the harmonics depending on the intake manifold here again higher so it's basically higher across the board with the highest difference about being five percent which is a nice increase now is this real is this real or is it just skewed readings to me it feels part of it is real you're getting more flow especially on wide open throttle on the uh, top end because you don't have this restriction in there is it all of five percent or maybe just a little bit less i don't know maybe it could be less maybe some of the reading is not accurate but to me it just feels like there's less restriction on wide open throttle when you mash the throttle and these values are basically proving that otherwise the car drives uh, perfectly fine i had to retweak the uh, fuel map a little bit but not too much so the uh, fuel trims are in check it's running pretty smooth also the ignition angle ignition uh, about the same as before see here that's the comparison maybe a little bit higher I may have to go back and tweak this again but otherwise running wise it's running uh, pretty good also without this mesh not causing any stumble or anything like that which you can read on the uh, forums it's just like i said removing the small wire mesh the coarse grid on the outside which does help to smoothen airflow is still intact the backside also it's just the wire mesh which is out and some maps like uh, on the uh, m3 versions or others don't even have this wire mesh so why is it in there to protect the MAF? is it to even out turbulence is it a restriction is it a throttling measure to keep power limited i'm leaning towards the theory that this is a kind of uh, throttling measure by the factory and if you remove it you can get more airflow you have to re of course tune your maps accordingly that is a given which i uh, have done or i'm still going to continue to fine tune it and then the goal is or the idea is to actually and uh, when it's getting colder to actually go on a dyno again and prove this with those two versions with the stock math the modded math with the mesh removed and have two maps optimized for each version and run them back to back and finally see to me already the way i was driving you can see on the video okay and also on the next uh, comparison video i did on the same stretch of road it feels quicker it revs quicker up and the speed is a little bit higher I tried to match the two videos to make it comparable but that's also what my butt dyno is telling me so is it a myth myth busted of course keeping in mind you have to also retune your fuel maps perhaps how modded your engine is I mean there's not one map for all so everyone has to do their own tuning depending on what mods they've done here on my engine okay I have modded it a little bit from stock it has cams it has uh, headers it has the m50 manifold exhaust so it's basically all the bolt-ons you can do without going into the engine have been done to this so that's it that's uh, the summary to me it, it looks like it's an increase it feels like that the data shows it so the next thing would be to actually show it on a dyno graph and see if it on paper brings the additional power <laughs>